Dr. Mahate Mohammad, who had criticized AMNO for amending its constitution on Sunday, was reminded today that he had made two amendments in the 1980s when he was party president. AMNO Information Chief Sharil Hamdan said Mahate in 1987 had introduced bonus votes for the incumbent AMNO president and deputy president when seeking re election. He added that a year later, Mahate had also introduced a quota system for elections to the party's top leadership positions. Sharil questioned if it meant that the party leadership at the time did not respect the constitution. This was in response to Mahate's claim that AMNO members had shown disrespect for the party constitution by voting unanimously on Sunday on a constitutional amendment to postpone party elections until after a general election. Sharil said there was no need for AMNO to justify its decision to a political rival, adding that a party's constitution could be amended as and when the party chooses to do so, as long as it did not contravene the party's ideals. He also pointed out that the federal constitution was amended 23 times during Mahathir's first stint as Prime Minister, including controversial amendments about royal sovereignty, which sparked a constitutional crisis. Sharil said making amendments to a party's constitution was better than having someone jump ship numerous times in an apparent jibe at Mahathir's moves from Amno to Basatu and then to Pajuang.